Alrighty guys, what's going on? So today is kind of an exciting day, not kind of, it's really exciting day. So we are going to be picking up a new dirt bike. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but I want it to be kind of a surprise. Um, so yeah, it's kind of just out of nowhere. I never really talked about it before in any other video, but um, kind of surprised just got, getting out there. I'm, so I'm picking up a new dirt bike. And uh, yeah, like I said, I wanted to be surprised. I don't want to spoil it until like the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video so you can find out what the bike what bike I end up getting. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It might be a short one. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. So it's a bit late now, it's 9 o'clock ish, so and it's pretty dark outside as you can tell behind me. But uh, yeah, um, this will be the reveal of the bike that I got. So it um, may come to a shock to some of you guys. Um, I'm pretty excited, I'm really excited about this. Um, can't, I really can't really believe I was able to get one of these and the one that's in great, such great condition, really. I guess that's with all that being said, we can see the final reveal of the bike. Yeah, it's an orange one. This is a 2017 and a half factory edition KTM 250F. Um, it's pretty much has all the good stuff that you can imagine. Full FMF exhaust. Now the factory edition comes with just the uh, slip-on uh, FMF, but um, this one has the header with it as well, so it's the full system. It also has factory connection suspension, pretty much set up for my weight. It's a pretty sweet bike, I would say so myself. These are all upgraded kind of spokes, you could say, spokes, rims, hubs. Um, a lot stronger than like the stock ones. That these are supposed to be a lot stronger, so that's cool. Um, I'm guessing these are aftermarket foot pegs. I never really got into these ones, but um, these look pretty beefy as they have like screws really into them. They warp nine, yeah, warp nine foot pegs. So those are aftermarket. It has a skid plate on there. A sort of skid plate. Obviously the electric start. That button's always nice right there. Um, this bike comes with the traction control, the TC right here, which is this button up top. You just press that and traction control comes on. And it also comes with the one and two modes for the diff different modes that you can ride in, like say one standard, and then maybe second is like. Um, a bit more power and go more fast. aggressive. Yeah, go fast mode. That's for second. Um, yes, and then if you press both of them at the same time, it does launch control or pretty much that launch control or whole shot device or whatever. But, and you get to see that right here. There's that, can't really see it, but there's like a little thing right here with my fingers touching. You can't really see it in the camera, but it's like a little light that will start flashing when the, uh, um, launch control was on or whatever but um overall pretty sweet bike um, and over here we got my yeah, giant pump here. bike and it's got an aftermarket hard ass seat oh, yeah. with a beer holder custom beer holder we got some aftermarket blue go fast yamaha parts because they're blue got a total of two and a half inches of front suspension with that aftermarket pegs good for racking your shins and bruising up your legs a little bit on them other than that it's a pretty solid bike <laughs> nice 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 what year is it it's a 1969 uh-huh oh nice 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 bike sure is all aluminum she's a beauty <laughs> uh, anyways back to the topic here i'm gonna take these numbers off obviously because that doesn't go with me but there's a yellow uh switch in my bobber that kind of looks like Just a choke you push it in and it kind of acts like a choke. So you prime it. You do, you hear that. yeah, you prime it. You just hit it once. You hear the fuel pump. You hear the fuel pump and you kind of.
I guess that's it for the bike. I mean, um, I'm definitely gonna make another. Yeah, there's. Bike is fucking hot. Oh, what about hot? I need it. Leave out the F word. <laughs> okay, but anyways, yeah. I'm definitely gonna make a, more videos on this bike, obviously. I'm gonna probably make a review on this bike as well. Um, get it outside and kind of better lighting. Wasn't expecting to get this today, but you know, it just kind of happened. So um, it's an awesome bike, like I said. Oh, and there's the. Uh, don't, don't know what type of levers these are, but these are unbreakable levers, kind of like on the two stroke over there. So these are pretty cool. Um, I think these are the Carmichael Bend bars. I think I'm gonna keep these on. These are actually pretty sweet. Um, kind of digging them. But uh, yeah, pretty sweet. Starts right up and uh, couldn't be any more happier than what I got. So, anyways, I guess with all that being said, if you guys do enjoy this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe with notifications turned on so you get notified whenever I upload a video and you can stay up to date with all the shenanigans we get into. And you can see more videos of the new KTM right here. And um, I guess with all that being said, I'll wrap up this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.